Hi, good morning, and this is Brad Gilbert. It's the 30th of August, and this is the morning market update. Well, we saw some interesting moves last night. Pretty much most of them were uh, on the back of the Syrian um, crisis, where there is a lack of actual uh, action taking place, which is pretty much highly anticipated. The um, We've seen some major moves in the currencies here, but uh, Euro is sort of pulling back somewhat, um, coming back and retracing at these earlier levels and then dropping away. This um, sets us up, you've got Sterling going sideways. Uh, up the top here we've got Aussie Yen, perfect sort of retracement back to the um, sort of key resistance levels here and then potentially coming off. I think one of the better opportunities at the moment um, with some of these moves already occurring is the Aussie dollar here, which is uh, setting up quite nicely. Um, just at this, uh, we've got two two very good levels here, support and resistance. I think we're, we're going to see some more downside here, and a break of this 88.93 level will probably be the uh, the best trading opportunity. Now, just coming over to the uh, the main event today, it's the uh, Canadian GDP numbers. Um, anything to do with GDP and the overall sort of health check of the economy is an important thing. So we've got that out uh, later on Friday. As you can see, I've got the CAD chart up here. If I just take it one step further, just have a look at uh, what was happening yesterday. As the uh, the crisis in Syria or the lack of action takes place, we see the price of oil plummeting. Okay, so what we have seen is is a major sort of uh, uh, a tricky situation with regards to the uh, the CAD itself. The dollar has actually sort of rallied somewhat against uh, the CAD, which is a little bit unusual. Uh, you would have sort of expected to move lower here. So the CAD and oil trade at the moment has completely sort of broken down. But it's not broken down against all the CAD crosses. The CAD itself, you know, looking at Euro CAD, has actually behaved very closely to, um, to uh, the oil, and that's what, sort of what we were highlighting yesterday. Once again, the sort of closer uh, oil uh, currency, CAD Yen, has taken some time to sort of get going here with, uh, with the recent drop in oil. So that's where we are with the CAD. It's the major release tonight, so that's one thing I think you should be uh, extremely focusing on. We have, uh, if I just come back to the main page, um, you want to have uh, your charts sort of set up basically for this situation. With the CAD being up here in the middle of nowhere, it's probably an opportunity to uh, potentially trade both sides of the market. You want to assess the sort of general US dollar sentiment. At the moment, the dollar is strong. It's strong against uh, particularly Euro and the CAD. So uh, keep your eyes open. We've got a major, massive week of uh, data next week. So uh, if anything, keep your boards dry because there's going to be lots of opportunities going forward. That's the uh, morning update. We'll catch you next time.